Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about building trust in the reconciliation stage. So we already know there's nine stages to this God ordained marriage promise, right? Um, and the ninth stage is the reconciliation stage. Now, here's the thing, okay? Because the Lord will let you know if you are following the Lord. Let me just put that in there. If you are following the Lord's instruction, if you are obedient to his divine separation, um, or whatever way God has instructed you in your love story, the Lord will let you know when he is sending back your spouse. He will let you know. He will give you strategy on you know, like how to receive this individual back. He will also let you know, okay, um, how to be careful with your spouse, careful in a sense of not hurting this individual because maybe they took some, maybe they 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 taken some of their prayer requests to the Lord and maybe they privately, I'm going to just say this, maybe your spouse probably said to the Lord, okay, Lord, I hear you telling me that this is my God ordained husband or wife, but I don't want to get hurt again. How do I know I can trust this person? How do I know that I can let my guard down with this individual? And so God will begin to tell you, be careful, you know, be, be gentle with this individual. You know, um, God will, he will give you instruction in this way, right? letting you know in so many words don't hurt this person you know he would god would continue to tell you take time out to heal so that you don't hurt this or you don't sabotage your um chances with your prodigal spouse right um so understand that but in the reconciliation stage we want to make sure that we are operating from a space of wisdom wisdom is taking the time out to build to rebuild the trust back into this relationship okay because whenever you're standing for a prodigal Prodigal is going to break trust, okay? It, it's part of the process, okay? Because they up on a reprobate mind, you know, dealing with childhood wounds, dealing with, you know, these rejection and abandonment wounds, right? You know, they up under love spells and stuff, right? They've been, a, they've been spiritually manipulated by the enemy. So trust will be broken in this God-ordained love story, this process, simply because of how the enemy is manipulating things um, and because of the unhealed hurt and pain. So this is why we want to make sure that we're not quick, you know, to just be open up doors, you know, to the product. We're not quick to just let this person all the way into your life. You know, think about Joseph in the Bible after his brothers betrayed him. Right. You know, once Joseph realized that these were his brothers um, who were coming over there, you know, trying to buy the food over in Egypt, he didn't he didn't immediately reveal himself right? He began to test them, right? He began to test them to see where their heart was at, right? And, and, and after the test, that's when he revealed, you know, that he's Joseph, their brother, right? So we want to make sure we're operating with wisdom, okay? The Bible tells us, it tells us in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, it says, dear friend, do not believe every spirit but test the spirit to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. And again, the Lord will tell you when your prodigal is coming back. OK, the Lord will tell you he will give you all the signs. He will keep confirming it. I'm sending this person back. I'm giving them a second chance. They coming back. Right. And God would also let you know how to handle them. Right. How to how to properly respond to this person. But I'm also saying Allow the person who broke your heart the opportunity to come back and heal your heart. That's what I'm saying. Allow the person who broke their own word they're given to you. Allow them to come back and show you how they have learned how to keep their word. In what, however way your prodigal broke your heart or broke your trust, Instead of you being the one trying to regain their trust, you need to allow, or I would say I recommend for you to allow your prodigal the opportunity to come back and rebuild the trust in the area that was broken, okay? Here's a book. This is why I'm doing a video. I wanted to share uh, this book with you. Here's a book by Dr. Henry Cloud called Trust, Okay. It's a knowing when to give it, when to withhold it, how to earn it, and how to fix it when it gets broken in life and business. So I love this book because it's telling you, it's teaching us how to um, 
regain trust when it's been broken in life and in business okay so i highly recommend you go over to amazon and pick up a copy of this book because um it's really good you know i just started reading i think i'm in like chapter two of the book and i'm already learning a lot okay but we want to make sure we operating with wisdom okay um even when god you know tell you your spouse i'm sending your spouse back your spouse needs to come back earning your heart back don't just give them your heart they need to earn it back they need to show you the things you need to see that's going to move you to now knowing i can trust this person in this particular area right if you have children and your children have come under attack you need to allow your prodigal to show you how you know god has moved this prodigal now to being a protector when now this prodigal will protect not only you but these kids as well okay so again don't just freely just open up your life you know to this individual after you know whatever you have been through in this process allow the opportunity for the prodigal to show you they serious about you this is part of your healing you need to know your prodigal spouse only want you okay and the only way you're gonna know this is by allowing this person the opportunity to show you this okay you need to know that your prodigal will protect you. You need to know that your prodigal respect you. You need to know these things. This is how trust is, is, is rebuilt, right? By giving a person who broke the trust the opportunity to regain our trust. You give, you allow them that opportunity. Don't be hard on them. Like you don't got to pay hardball, you know, um, things of that nature. No, you just, you have your standards and boundaries in place and you're like hey i'm glad you're back you know but this is how i felt you know you begin to communicate how their actions made you to feel and and i'm gonna just say this because if you've really gone through this process and you've been obedient to the lord and you're allowing god to direct your your steps god is already speaking on your behalf god is already bringing correction to the prodigal god is already you know helping the prodigal to learn the lesson I'm just going to be honest. God is the one advocating on your behalf, okay? And on your prodigal behalf, too, because God will begin to speak to you and tell you where you went wrong at, in this love story, okay? So just what I'm saying here is when your prodigal reaches out to you and come back, don't be in a hurry to just let, allow this person back into your life. Scriptures say, test the spirit to see whether they are from god okay basically test to see if this person has really changed for the better you need to give it time you need to give this person time to show you okay how they all about you to show you okay how you know they they they, they are done with their past right they're ready to build with you. You need to allow that person that time to show you these things. This is where you're going to get all of your answers. All of that confusion, all of that double-minded, oh, I don't know, Tequila, I just don't know. All of that goes away when you allow the prodigal time to show you how they really feel about you, okay? And I wanted to put emphasis on this because I don't want my God-ordained believing wives to be the ones when the prodigal return, I don't want you to be the one trying to prove to your prodigal how much you love this person. They know it. They see how you're standing. They see you covering them in prayer, right? They already know you got love for them. They already know this, right? So I don't want you to be the one putting yourself in this position where you just going all out, right? And you're the one getting your heart broken. No, learn how to sit back and allow your prodigal to show you how they feel about you. Allow your prodigal to show you how you are the only one they want to do life with. Allow your prodigal to show you that they are willing to protect you, okay? The same way you protected them in prayer, allow your prodigal to show you the same thing. Just sit on back and, and just, you know, receive it, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.